Let there be charges of identity theft for using a social security number to work and raise a family. But today, after organizing with my community and after working with everybody else, he was released after we sent 600 taxes. So I want to thank everyone who made who signed a petition. And if you haven't yet, whenever you see those petitions going around, please sign those. They're very important, and they make things happen. Thank you. El, el miércoles pasado detuvieron a mi papá por trabajar con, con papeles chuecos. Uh, lo acusaban de eso por, por trabajar para, para crecer a nuestra familia. Y después de organizar y de trabajar juntos lo pudimos sacar. El día de hoy salió y fue gracias a todas las peticiones. Mandamos como 600 faxes para hacer que lo dejaran libre. Entonces sabemos que cuando nos organizamos sí podemos. Y cada vez que vean una petición, fírmenla porque eso es lo que hace el cambio. también para el día de San Valentín uh, les damos una carta de San Valentín a todos los que están detenidos uh, aquí adentro, entonces este año, uh, como dice Jordan ya tenemos 380 pero Maureen trae otras 150 y hay otras escuelas e iglesias que van a hacer también más cartas de San Valentín, so, muchas gracias por venir, vamos a tener poesía vamos a caminar hacia enfrente um, y bueno, ya soy como pionera en esto de las deportaciones. Hi, good night everybody. My name is Geneva and I'm kind of a veteran of this deportation stuff. <laughs> ah, como dijo Juan, cuando la comunidad está bien unida y bien organizada, a mí ya van dos ocasiones que a punto de ser deportada, una en Texas y una aquí en Colorado, a la comunidad me ha podido sacar gracias a que están bien organizados. So just like Juan said, um, community uh, involvement and closeness is very uh, important when we do this kind of work. Um, uh, it's been twice that they've uh, been able to get me out of detention, once in Texas and one here, and now I'm back with my family because of the community support that I received. My name's Elliot. Uh, I was asked to read a poem, and so I'm going to read a poem for y'all. Uh, I wrote this um, to kind of talk about the ways that the immigration system um, has a divide and conquer uh, kind of mentality for brown communities, indigenous communities, and native communities. And so um, here it goes. This is a love letter for my Chicano, native, and indigenous gente. Look closely because there are no fences on this body, no 800 mile walls across this tierra, no pinche migra aiming rifles at indigenous children upon this frontera. This skin did not come wrapped in barbed wire fences, nor were these limbs made divided. When we kiss, there are no structures built that can pretend to know where my lips end and yours begin. So is it really so hard to believe that your eyes possess no truer purpose than to look into another's and that our hearts, like our fingertips, were made to touch, to leave behind gentle fingerprints like soft whispers, reminding us that we are never alone? Which is why there can't be no fences on this body, no 800-mile walls across this tierra, no pinche migra aiming rifles at indigenous children upon this frontera. And if we will resist borders built upon the most sacred earths of these bodies, 
Why do we insist on honoring those built to divide and conquer our people? To divide and separate this land, to divide and erase our cultura, to divide and make us forget our humanity and the humanity of our compañera, to divide and make us forget that there was a time before walls, before prisons, before papeles, before la migra, before Chicano, before native, before Mexica, when our ancestors looked at one another and recognized a common origin that we are from la misma sangre y corazón, our hearts carved from the same masa, that masa del mismo maíz, the maíz from the same tierra, which makes our bodies like nothing more than tamales molded by the desert heat and warmed underneath the sun. Our gente de Maya tell us, se llevaron nuestros frutos, gotaron nuestras ramas, quemaron nuestro tronco, pero no pudieron arrancar nuestras raíces. They can steal our fruit, they can cut off our branches, they can burn our trunk, but they cannot unearth our roots. They will never unearth our roots. We must remember that there was a time before walls and that there will surely be a time after them, after they have fallen to make bridges and after those bridges have fallen into dust, returning themselves back to the desert to whom they have always belonged. There will be a time when we are whole again, but we do not have to wait till the fences crumble. See these seamless bodies and our unhindered love, our roadmaps back home, back to the earth, and back to one another. All we must do is to look upon our palms, see how lines and borders can exist without hate, and then to weave our struggles like fingers into another's. Notice how the migra has no power here in the intertwined space between you and me. And so I wait to come upon that place where finally our stories meet. Thank you. Let there be peace. Let there be love. Let there be peace. Let there be love. Let there be peace. Let there be love. I'm trying to find peace in a situation. It's channel break in family unification. I'm trying to find peace in a situation. It's channel break in family unification. Break in, in family unification. Break in family unification. Tell me, immigration increases the population to the extent that U.S. citizens' bank account won't be so that fat. Imagine that. Imagine that. Country which has volunteers travel to countries after a natural disaster, yet immigration policies make disaster faster. World which is abundant in resources, yet we are told this is not so. It begins to blow my mind. You see, I am trying to find... Peace in a situation. It's channel break in family unification. I'm trying to find peace in a situation. It's channel break in family unification. Break in family unification. Break in family unification. Because fear is causing families to break. And when people move forward with action steps to take, they awake to phone calls that sound like nightmares, sounds of tears, ice raids, humanity brigades, cold officers face, distant from Seoul and NAFTA's illegal case. Don't you know what it takes to cross the border away from your true home? Not an easy choice. That is until you have children and look them in their face. I'm trying to find peace in a situation. It's channel break in family unification. What can we create within our nation? What can we create within our nation to bring together humanization, working for humanization? Let there be peace. Everyone can sing along too. Let there be love. Let there be peace. Let, Let there, there be, be love. love. Two more times. 
Let there be peace. Let there be love one more. Let there be peace. Let there be love. Peace. Thank you all.